Hey guys, it's Sinjo here from Swiss Beatbox, back for another episode of Sinjo's Reviews. We've partnered with Dynaudio for the next episode of GBB 2019. They're actually going to sponsor each first place winner of every category, a pair of these LYD7s. So I've got one here to unbox for you guys and explain why we've picked them as the speaker sponsor for this year, as they make incredible speakers. So first I'm going to unbox this, and then I'm going to talk about why we think they're so good. Let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, so here we are to the main event. I love the way these speakers look. They're incredibly beautiful. It's one of my favorite near-field studio monitors that are on the market. It depends on where you are, but they go for around 500 euros for one. So about a thousand for a pair, which is extremely competitive for the quality that you get from these things. They come from five inch, seven inch, eight inch models. And then you've got the flagship model here, which is the 48s. LYD offers producers and musicians near-field speakers that excel at low volume precision. Each drive unit is fueled by a power state-of-the-art Class D amplifier that features a 96 kilohertz 24-bit signal path. Its new soft dome tweeter and MSP woofers ensure unerring accuracy. Finally, a DSP used in the right way offers the option to extend or curtail the low frequency response by 10 hertz where needed, which means that if your room is too bass heavy or not enough bass, you can actually boost the bass frequencies accordingly. Due to the fact that low frequencies need a lot of energy and therefore membrane movement, every speaker design comprises a compromise between low frequency reproduction and max SBL. Because Dyn Audio offer presets for the cutoff frequency of the woofer, the user can choose to have the speaker play either as loud as possible or as deep as possible. The zero hertz setting is the default factory setting and none of the three settings influences the linearity of the frequency response. That means that if you want to have more bass or a louder speaker, you will not be interfering with the frequency response reproduced by the speaker themselves. Basically what this means is the settings in the speaker allow the speaker to extend or reduce the low frequency response by plus 10 hertz or minus 10 hertz. This changes the low end response while maintaining a linear frequency response. It also has the option for both precision and sound balance to ensure better performance in any environment. Dynaudio have created two different tunings, one for freestanding speakers and one for speakers placed within 50 centimeters of a back wall or closer. This will help to provide a more balanced response at the listening position. When you have speakers close to a back wall, it can create these uh, frequency nodes where basically those frequencies can be boosted or cut in the room depending on the room that you have. This allows you a bit more control over what happens with the speaker. This means if you've got a small studio and your speakers are placed quite close to the wall, you can set it to wall and this will then tune the speaker so that it reproduces the frequencies more accurately depending on where you position it in the room. This is extremely powerful for a home studio speaker. As is known by most producers, this is one of the main issues they come across when working in a small environment. The frequencies that you hear are greatly shaped by the room that you're in. So if the speaker is able to help you deal with those frequencies it lends a lot more power to you as a producer to set up the sound in your room to be as accurate as possible on top of that you also have a sound balance button here the sound balance option is a so-called tilt filter tilt filters lift one end of the frequency spectrums while lowering the other end by the same amount this can be used to influence the frequency response of the speaker without influencing the phase that allows you to adjust if you want it to be a neutral flat response dark or bright. Basically, if your room is very bright, you can then put it down to dark and that will allow you to actually push down the high so it's not as bright. And the same in reverse. If you've got a lot of bass heavy frequencies in that room, you can put it up to the bright option and boost the high end frequencies accordingly so that you get a more rounded frequency spectrum depending on your room. If you have a professional studio, you probably want to get it acoustically treated. That's up to you how you want to do that. But this speaker, the settings that they have in the DS SP processor in the back here allows you to do some of that directly on the speaker itself rather than having to rely so much on your own acoustic treatment. This model is the 7-inch model. It has a crossover frequency of 4300 hertz.
hertz with a frequency response of 45 hertz to 22,000 hertz. Now for a neophilt monitor, this is an extremely wide range. 22,000 hertz is above the human hearing spectrum. On top of that, going down to 45 hertz, there are very few speakers that are able to reproduce those low end frequencies in such a small compact case as this. Now what you can do is you can get the 18S sub. There's also the 9S sub. They can then increase the frequency fraction down to up to 16 hertz. Our human hearing can only go down to 20 hertz. So 16 hertz again is beyond the level of human hearing. It means that you basically have a frequency spectrum then with the additional sub of the entire human hearing. It gives you a very flat response that allows you to produce very accurately to understand what frequencies are coming through on the speakers when you're mixing or mastering any of your audio. What this means for beatboxes specifically is that you'll be able to hear the sounds that you're reproducing with your mouth, with your mic setup, and to then accordingly EQ them for your productions. For a home studio, these are one of the best that you can get on the market for the price range. We at Swiss Beatbox are extremely proud to be working with this amazing speaker company. They've been around in the industry for more than 40 years, developing some of the best hi-fi and professional studio gear on the market. Every first place winner of the competition will be getting a pair of these. On top of this, every second place winner of the GBB in each category will be receiving a Dynaudio Music 3 Bluetooth speaker, and every third place will be receiving a Dynaudio Music 1 speaker. The Music 3 and Music 1 Bluetooth speakers are incredibly powerful, clear, intelligent home music systems that you can use in any environment. They actually adjust their sound depending on where you put them in the room. You can find all the information for both both the LYDs and the music range on Dyn Audio's website. Link will be in the description. Please leave a comment. Let us know what you think of this amazing development. Give a shout out to Dyn Audio. Huge good luck to all of the participants at GBB. Thanks everyone. Please tune in next time for the next episode of Sinjo's Reviews. Oh, <laughs>